In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to do a print and cut project with Sure Cuts a lot. My project is already set up here and I'm using my GCC Puma Cutter. You can see my images over here. I'm starting with the origin point. I'm using copy paper in this case because I'm just showing you this as an example. Then I click print and cut. I choose print. I'm going to print this to my regular printer. It's printing out right now. Then I click next, saying me that my machine needs to be turned on. I have done that. It's now ready so I can place my design on my cutting mat and I'm going to ask the machine to scan and cut. It will scan for the registration marks, find them and then just go and cut my design. So to go back to how you set up something for print and cut in Sure Cuts a lot, I'm just going to create a new project here. I'm not going to name it. I'm going to bring in a little image so I'm going to choose file place image I'm going to just grab something that I used yesterday uh, let's see I'm going to use this image so it's probably going to come in very big I don't want it this big so I'm going to press my shift key to proportionally resize that I'm going to click on my shapes over here. I'm going to hold it down so I can choose a rounded rectangle. And I'm going to draw that around my image. I'm going to click my select icon up here. I'm going to right click, arrange this and send it to the back so that I can see my image. Now I don't want a gray background here. I'm going to come here to colors and I'm going to choose none so that it's clear. I'm going to resize the box a little bit so that it fits my truck a little better. I'll resize that a little bit. This is just very rough just to give you the idea of what all this does. Next I'm going to type in my text. I'll click the selection arrow. I can change the font, but for now I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Stretch it out a little bit. So now the things that I want to print, which is my text over here and this image, I'm going to come over here to the wrench and under cut line type I'm going to choose print and cut print, which means it's a print and cut design, but this part of it will print. Then I'm going to choose my rectangle, which is the part I want to cut. And again, under the rent, I'm going to change it to print and cut, cut. So it's a print and cut design. That part will be cut. When I click preview, it's going to show me in red what will be cut. My printable will be shown in black. So that is these in the middle. You can see my registration marks here. And if you have an error code showing up saying that your registration marks are outside of the print boundaries. What that means is that your image here is too large. Let's just make this extra large so you can see what I mean. I'm going to click preview again and now you can see that these registration marks are outside of this print boundary which is the square here. I'll show you the print margins. If you click this checkbox that black area will disappear. If you click the registration marks, those will disappear. So it shows you where they are. So to fix that error, all you need to do is resize your image or your design, whatever you're working on. Click preview again and you'll see where your registration marks end up. 
it's really simple to work this out with shortcuts a lot. Hope this has been helpful to you.